Hey, how's it guys? In this tutorial, we'll learn how to export BigQuery tables as CSV and JSON files to Google Cloud Storage with Google BigQuery API using Python. So let's say every month and I need to provide my clients with their performance report in either CSV or JSON file. And by using BigQuery API, I will be able to automate this task pretty easily. So before we dive into the tutorial, Make sure that you have BigQuery and Google Cloud Storage APIs enabled. Now here in my VS Code, I'm going to uh, import the BigQuery module first. And let me increase the font size. And for this example, uh, let's say I want to uh, export my staging, my report table as a CSV and JSON file to my SQL for BigQuery uh, Cloud Storage bucket. So first I need to uh, construct my BigQuery client object. And I can create my BigQuery client object using BigQuery.client. And I'll name the object as client. Next I need to uh, specify my data set ID and my bucket name. Now going back to my uh, BigQuery console, I need to create a reference that are uh, tied to this uh, my report table. And to do that, so first I'm going to create a data set reference that are tied to my staging data set. And that's this line here. And once I have my uh, data set reference that are linked to my staging uh, data set, I can reference the table by providing the uh, table name or table ID. And I'll name the table reference uh, table ref. Now I want to export the table as a CSV file to my cloud storage. So first we need to create an extra job configuration uh, object using BigQuery.job module. And from the job module, we can create an extra job config object. And I'll name the object job config. So basically, we are creating this uh, job config object to configure the uh, extracting job settings uh, information or properties. And to export the uh, table as a JSON file, from job config the destination format, we need to uh, specify the uh, file type. And it's going to be BigQuery the destination format, the new line delimits JSON. And if we want to export the uh, table as a CSV file, then we just need to change the destination format to CSV. But for now, I'm going to export the table as a JSON file first, then I'll export the table as a CSV file. Now to export the table to our Google Cloud Storage, so here we need to provide the destination URI. And for the destination URI, the address is going to be gs colon forward slash forward slash followed by the uh, bucket name, followed by the uh, file name. And for to include a subdirectory, then we'll simply uh, insert your subdirectory uh, address. Now here I'm going to insert my uh, bucket name first, followed by the uh, file name. And for the file name, I'm going to name the file. Let's do uh, myreport.json. I can export the table to a JSON file using client.extratable method. Inside the extra table method, I need to uh, provide the uh, source table reference. In this case, it's going to be uh, my staging, my report table here, this table here. Then I need to provide the uh, Google Cloud Storage uh, destination URI, and which we have right here. And as for the extracting job configuration, so here we're going to uh, provide our job config object to the job config parameter. And basically we're just saying that uh, we need to export the uh, table as a JSON file. And when we export the table, we need to uh, specify where the uh, table location is going to be. And by default, the location is going to be set to US. So if your table is waiting in the US server, then this line is optional. And I'll name the output extra job. All right, so basically uh, when you export the table using the extra table method, it's going to create a job assigned to a queue and we need to wait till, until the job is processed. Then print the uh, status. 
Right, so here uh, we can say extra job that we saw, and that'll be it. Right, so if I go ahead and uh, run the script, and hopefully there's no error or anything. Right, so I have a typo and it should be format. Now I'm gonna try again. All right, so it looks like the job is complete and I'm not getting error. Now if I go back to my uh, BigQuery SQL for BigQuery bucket and refresh the page. I should see my report that JSON file is not available. And again, if I want to uh, export the table as a CSV file, I can simply update the destination format to CSV. And I'll update the uh, file extension to CSV and run the script. And refresh the uh, page. And here's my report that CSV file. Right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.